Hi guys, happy Saturday. I have a little bit of time, so I wanna film my empties video. I tried filming this video probably two or three times and I feel like this is the trend for my videos recently where I just keep filming and filming and filming and then I'm like, all right, I just wanna get it. <sighs> Come on, let's, let's get it moving. My braid is so messed up, I've, it's been all day. Anyways, I just wanna get this filmed and uploaded so I can throw this stuff away and restart my basket. So I'm just gonna hop right into it. I tried filming this on Friday and I was almost gonna upload it, but it was very rushed because I did it before work. So I'm just gonna do it now. Um, Travis and the kids went to his grandparents, so I have a little bit of time. Hence why we have the kitty table and chairs there with us this weekend. So yeah. All right, let's hop right into it. I just finished this leaves single wick last night. It burnt itself out. Um, leaves is crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. I love leaves. This is a single wick that actually throws and is super strong. Um, the burn was a little messy, but it was fine. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, yeah, I love leaves. It's a super cozy scent, a little spicy, like a little bit of clove, and then you get the apple. This is like an all year round scent for me. I love it. I just finished this trig, um, from L3. This is from February of 2021. This is probably one of my oldest wax items or was one of my oldest wax items in my collection um this is from my first ever order from l3 when i got back into wax um vendor wax so this is strawberry raspberry guava i was never a fan of this one it was just sitting in my collection so i um every time i go into my collection and pull more wax i try to do like the oldest which is 2021 for me and I finally was just like, I gotta use it. I gotta use it. So I did, there was like six little pieces and I just finished it up in my bedroom and it wasn't that bad. It was just a nice fruity scent. Um, not as bad as I remember at least. Before it had like a cough syrup sent to me. So yeah. All right, here we go. Look at all this stuff. All right, so I finished, I think, I want to say my first scoop ever from L3. Um, I have some that are getting there, but this is the first one I've ever finished. Um, this is Vanilla Cake Batter Sugar Cookie Royale. This was so good. Her um, scoopables last so much longer than just normal wax. Um, it threw amazing still. It probably only lasted like three hours but that's okay because I try to change my wax whenever I can especially if I'm home on the weekends but I would get this again it was such a decadent like thick vanilla cake batter it was so good and I didn't mix it. oh I did end up mixing it with like a pumpkin pecan waffle blend at the end because I have a scoopable that I'm trying to that I'm very close to finishing and I thought I was gonna be able to finish it at the same time but I didn't so um I was mixing it with that at the end, but it's good on its own. It's good as a blender. It's really good. All right, so I'm just gonna start pulling. I have some other things. I have a, a few candles. I have some um, soaps. So here's a little um, shot cup from Kay's. I really miss these so much. This was in Beechwood Vetiver. This was so good. I chopped this in half and put it in my bedroom. It was just such a clean, fresh scent, and it lasted so long. This was from, like, has to be 2021. I didn't even mark it at that time. Um, this was a pretty large sample from L3. It was, like, a fluted tart size. And this is in Palo Santo Mala Fireside Vanilla Butter Fudge. I brought this to work, and I just love anything with, like, Palo Santo Mala Fireside. This was so good. It was, like, a sweet version of that from the vanilla butter fudge. It was delicious. Teddy bees, I am trying to finish some of my teddy bees because I did place a large order for the pre-order. And I even have stuff from the last RTS and last pre-order that I haven't even touched. I have so much. 
So I'm just trying to get through some of my older stuff. This was from May of 2021. I have a good bit of 2021 stuff left, so I'm still trying to use it. This is in Let's Cuddle. This is a souffle, Sweet Lavender Bedtime Baby in Vanilla Lace. This is just a nice, sweet lavender type scent. I finished this in my bedroom. Another Teddy Bee souffle in Cinnamon Toast. Brown sugar, cinnamon, buttery, pastry dough, and vanilla buttercream. This was really not a favorite of mine. I do typically like sweet cinnamon bakery blends, but this was like red hot cinnamon to my nose. Um, um, and I got some sort of like maple scent. I think it might be the brown sugar because it just was not agreeing with my nose. And anything that comes off any sort of maple, I do not like. So I was not a big fan of that one. This is a VCS Vintage Cheek Scents. I believe this was some sort of shape. Um, I love you to the moon and back. Ripe cherries blended with creamy vanilla ice cream. Sadly, when I did um, melt the rest of this, I didn't really get much of the scent. So yeah, but I do like cherry scents. Um, I can't really recall what it smelled like prior to this. This was from May of 2021, but yeah, I didn't really get much from it. This is a sample from Elf 3 in Sweet Cali Girl Strawberry Sugar. This was so good. I did this in my office at work and it was just such a sweet strawberry scent. Like I not, not even like bakery, not, I don't know. It's just such a good sweet strawberry. It was really good. Um, Teddy Bees in Sadie. Salty Sierra, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Toasted Marshmallows. Um, I absolutely love this scent. Um, it sounds like such a simple scent, such, such a simple blend, but it was honestly so nice. Um, this was just a nice, pretty, fresh, Salty Sierra Vanilla blend. It was just so, so, so good. So I'm very happy about that one. Here's a Rose Girl, Rose Girl Mini Melter bag in Lemon Cotton Candy Ice Cream Cake. This was from May of 2021. It was pretty light. I did it in my um, downstairs area. It was like a light lemon bakery scent. It was good. Like it was probably like a three out of five when I come downstairs. It would be like a nice light lemon. So it's not like I couldn't smell it, but it was, it was light. Three out of five light to medium um I'm just like I was just thinking about this is so random but I was just thinking about how when I um I don't even know what this is is it a cat hair probably um when I was really like oh my gosh I need to start using my wax I've already known I have a lot of wax right but I've always been like I want to savor it. I don't want to run out of it. I'm going to chop my wax up really small so I don't run out of it. I've always had that mindset with everything. Um, but now I'm like really using stuff and I'm so proud of myself for kind of like getting past that because reality is your stuff's going to go bad and then you're really going to be wasting it and you're not going to get any throughout of it. So I'm trying to just get out of that mindset and I'm doing good at it. But like, I just need, you need to use your stuff, right? And I know a lot of people can agree with me on that, but it, yeah, it just is what it is. But I'm getting through stuff and I'm so happy. And I'm not even looking back. I'm not even looking back. That's the best part. Hello. All right, I finished a muffin from Rose Girl in apple, cinnamon, peach cupcakes, apples, cinnamon, peaches, and buttercream cupcakes. This was so good. This was such a surprise for me. I love like apple cinnamon. Like I like all those scent notes, but on warm, this was delicious. It was a sweet apple cinnamon, like a bakery apple cinnamon. And then you got like a hint of peach and a sweet cupcake. It was just so good. So freaking good. I loved that one. Um, this was a puppy pack from L3 in Cookies with the Clauses Eggnog. Cookies with the Clauses is Santa's on Keto, Mrs. Clauses Cookies, and Sugar Milk. 
it's just a really sweet bakery but this was so good um mixed with the eggnog eggnog that just made it like creamy and buttery kind of um it was just a really nice vanilla type bakery but it was very strong so i liked that one a lot I finished two loaves from L3. These were from March of 2021 and May of 2021. At the end, I just started mixing them. They're very similar scents. Santa's on Keto and Covered Under the Stairs Pink Frosted Animal Cookies. Both bakery scents. So I just started mixing them. They were right at the same time that I finished them. And yeah, probably got a max like three hours when I was melting this. Um, but I still smelt it and it was just like a nice bakery scent. So yeah, I liked them both This was a puppy pack from L3 in strawberry grapefruit chamomile and tonka This has been sitting in my collection for a while again with like a few pieces So I finally just threw the rest in my bedroom and it was a nice like grapefruit um, fruity scent and Yeah, I like grapefruit um, Rose Girl Mini Melts are in sweater weather. I love her sweater weather. It's so funny because I got this in March of 2021. I did not like it. So it's been sitting there, sitting, sitting, sitting. And then I was like, you know what? I gotta use it. I gotta use it. So I did some in the bedroom and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So I brought the rest to work and me and my coworker both loved it. So you love it or you hate it. It's so crisp. It it makes the air so fresh in my opinion. It's like eucalyptus heavy, I would say. I don't really know what else is in it. But, oh my gosh, I loved it so much. So I did buy some more of that. Rose Girl Alice in Wonderland. And she, she, um, she restocked Sweater Weather a lot. I don't know if she does it throughout the year, but I saw it quite a bit. Um, throughout fall and winter. Rose Girl Alice in Wonderland, um, April of 2021. I finished this at work. I had a few pieces left. This is like a honeydew lavender type scent, I believe, or blend. Um, and it was really, really, really nice. Um, the honeydew is so good in this. It's just a nice fruity, um, crisp, crisp type scent. I don't even know. It's kind of soft, but it's just really nice. Teddy Bee's Souffle in Christmas Party, Sweater Weather Type, Cranberries, Orange, Tangerine with a Hint of Spice. I loved this one. This was from October of 2021. I was savoring this thing so much. Um, this was Sweater Weather with a bit of like um, cranberries and oranges with a little bit of spice. But it was so, yeah, it was so good. It was so good. I would love to see this again. Um, Vintage Chic Scents. I believe this is like a rose sheep. Um, Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb Cupcakes. Rich Vanilla Cupcakes and Strawberry Pound Cake type. This was really, really yummy. I did this in my bedroom. See, this is from May of 2021, and I still got throw from this one. So... Um, I finished this up in the bedroom. It was a very rich vanilla strawberry pound cake. It was very good. Teddy Bees. This was a um, chunk bag in the Queen's Dowry. Strawberry pound cake, Bath and Body Works type, toasted marshmallows, and pecan waffles. When I first got this, I really thought I liked it, but when I started um, really using this to finish it. I got like a plasticky Play-Doh type scent and I just was not a fan. I don't know if it was the pecan waffles or the toasted marshmallow, I'm not sure. But I like a lot of her other um, bakery scents, like um, Witches Be Crazy. So this one was weird. It, it could be the strawberry pound cake, I don't know, but there was something about it. Teddy Bee's Sundresses and Lemonade. This is a souffle. Fresh ozone and air. Roses, jasmine, lavender, vanilla, melon, sugared lemon with a fizzy twist. If you can hear that, that's the wind, by the way. It's very windy today. 
This was for May of 2021. I have a few back cuts of this and I got more in the pre-order, but love this one. I know a lot of you guys love it. It is so fresh and bright and just so good. I get the lemon, I get the fizziness, and I get like a fresh air type scent. It is so good and this is just gonna be so good for like the springtime. I might feel like mainly springtime, but this I don't care. I would do all year round. This was a fun pack from L3 in Reindeer Nose. Cherry, vanilla, gooey marshmallow, and sugar cookies. So this is like really like maraschino cherry to me, which I love. Um, but when I melted it, I would get like a, it, it was like, I would smell it for like probably 30 minutes and then it would disappear. Um, I don't know what happened, but yeah, but I do like it. It smells good. I finished an anti back in Vanilla Bean Noel. This one is so old, but I just finished that one up. Um, here is a, this was a cloud cake from L3 and all is a, all is calm Seattle rain, sweet lavender, twisted peppermint and mahogany teak one. I thought I liked this one, but then I went back to it and I got a lot of the mahogany teak one and I just wasn't that much of a fan of it. It was too cologne for me. So not a repurchase. Rose girl speechless. I just finished this the other day. This is from May of 2021. I love Speechless. So I put this in like one day. Um, I woke up the next day and came downstairs and I still was getting throw from this. Um, this is just a nice fruity scent. I don't know. I've heard what the freaking notes are in this so many times and I just can't even tell you right now. This is so good though. L3, this was from a sampler in sugared shortbread, buttercream frosting, Hufflepuff. And Hufflepuff is for fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Um, I love anything with Hufflepuff in it. It's just like a cinnamon sugar um, bakery scent. And yeah, it was really good. This was an L3 sample in watermelon ice cream scoop bread. This was okay. I did this in the office. It was really artificial watermelon with a little bit of bakery in the background, but not really into that watermelon. I finished a K's um, sample in Sorel and Lemon Thyme. This was so good. This was very nice. I can't spell it in there, but I did this in the bedroom and it was so fresh. It was so fresh and fresh in the air. It was so good. I really liked that. And then here from um, that small good shop, a sample in headaches, headache soother, herbal lavender and soothing mint. Um, anything with lavender mint in it, I love. And then this was an Ava's Country Covered sample in apple maple bourbon. I don't like anything with maple in it, so I can't really take my word for anything. So, yeah. I can't smell anything in that now, but I don't think it was too heavy on the maple, but I could be wrong. I don't really remember. I feel like my house looks so cluttered right now. Sorry. I just really got bothered by that for a second. Okay. I have a few more single wicks. Eucalyptus Snowfall. This one burnt, Ugh, not too great. Um, oh my gosh, almost 20 minutes. Okay, frozen eucalypt eucalyptus, snowy spearmint, and winter lavender. This was nice, it was pretty light, but I did this in the bathroom. And then winter, which I love this candle. White woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spice clove. Um, it's a clove type scent um, with a little bit of like pine needles and a little bit of the sparkling clementine, but it's really nice. 
I finish up a three wick in peppermint sugar cookie, crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies. I did this in my kitchen. It wasn't that strong at all. It was probably like a two out of five. Um, I got like hints of peppermint here and there, but it just wasn't strong. So I'm kind of sad about it. And then the rest are hand soaps. So at work, we had these two and we we're kind of just going back and forth. So this is Enchanted Candy Potion. This is Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitched Berries and Whipped Pixie Dust. This is like a sweet berry scent. And then Frosted Biscotti, Citrus Frosting, Maple Sugar and Warm Cookies. I just said I don't like maple, but this just smelled like lemon biscotti cookies. And then this was really good. It was like a light berry type scent. So we finished those at work. And then by we, I mean just me and my coworker. We don't keep it like in the bathroom or anything. Um, it's just between us two. And then I finished a vanilla, toasted vanilla chai, whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. This was really nice. I finished this in the um, master bath. And then vanilla bean noel, which we finished in the kitchen. So that's all guys thank you so much for watching um i might be on with an l3 haul later because i did just get a package today and i should have another one coming in and i might combine those but we'll see i hope you guys have a great great rest of your weekend it is super windy here and it's gonna rain but it's hot so not good anyways um, I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Have a great rest of your week and a great week coming up.